We are at the Japanese Grand Prix this weekend, and as always, today's episode will focus on the upgrades the top teams have brought to the Suzuka circuit to make the race an intense two hours for us. And this weekend, it's Mercedes and Red Bull with the upgrades. So, let's get going. After a tough start to the campaign, after the sports 2022 rules reset, the Silver Arrows have gradually worked their way back into contention behind pace setters, Red Bull and Ferrari. Despite their form ebbing and flowing based on track characteristics, George Russell and Lewis Hamilton have bagged 13 podiums. But Mercedes had a disastrous weekend at the Singapore Grand Prix, with Lewis Hamilton finishing at P9 and George Russell finishing at P14. The W13 showed good pace around the Marina Bay Street Circuit, but the Silver Arrows were not lucky enough to convert that to a win at the street circuit. But the team took the positives from that weekend and are now moving towards Suzuka. It was a very difficult Sunday for us in Singapore. There were still some positives to take because we saw glimpses of the car's pace and potential. But we couldn't convert that into points in the race itself, although the car showed it was competitive in free air, said Toto Wolff. The team believes that it has competitive car under its belt, which was also confirmed by Mercedes chief technical officer, James Allison. I would add to the races beyond. Well I think there are plenty of positives despite the fact that I think no one on our team colors would describe that as a good race on Sunday. But there are positives to take from it, Singapore has traditionally been a very difficult track for this team, not difficult in the way that we saw on Sunday, but difficult because we struggled to show any sort of pace at that track. Even in years where we've been very dominant in every other track, well this weekend we showed on Friday in free practice one we showed it, again on qualifying that the car was actually reasonably pacey, not quite good enough for pole position, but definitely up there at the sharp end of the grid and able to compete. There will be tracks ahead of us, I'm sure which won't be as easy or won't be as strong in qualifying pace as we've seen at Singapore. At Zandvoort at Hungary for example, but I'm pretty confident that the pace we showed this weekend in free practice, in qualifying that that pace will carry forward to a good extent in the remaining tracks of the year. Suzuka is a high downforce oriented circuit, therefore the Brackley based squad is bringing in revisions to its floor design to improve the downforce generated. It is reported that the team is making slight design implications to its floor for better generation of downforce and to maximize its chances at the Japanese Grand Prix. We saw at Zandvoort that Mercedes was ahead of its rivals on the long run pace on the hard and even on the soft tires. Therefore to use that benefit, the team is aiming to improve the ground effect the car is able to handle. This allows them to play with the wing angles of the car so that the W13 is able to stick with the Red Bull and Ferrari at the straights and high speed corners, which gives them chances of overtaking at the DRS straight possibly. If we look at the first sector of the track, it's full of high-speed corners, which is where the downforce generated by the underfloor will aid the car's performance the most. The second and third sectors are of long straights and high-speed corner, therefore, if the underfloor generates needed downforce, Mercedes can play with front and rear wings to improve top speed of the W13. Japan is the home territory for both Honda and Red Bull, so they are expecting a strong showing at their turf. It was mixed results for Red Bull at Singapore, where Sergio won the race and Max Verstappen finished at P7. After the Singapore Grand Prix, team principal Christian Horner said, yesterday was the big wound for today said Horner, referring to Verstappen's fuel issue in qualifying. I mean, it was obviously hugely frustrating, but he's raced hard, he's raced his heart out today, he's come through the field twice, and those points are vital for both him and the constructors. He gave it everything today, unfortunately, it just wasn't his weekend. He was very patient through the race, then he got an opportunity through the restart, obviously the tire pressures were so low he felt that he bottomed out and picked up a massive flat spot, then had to pit again, came from a massive distance behind, and obviously those last couple of laps, a lot of people were watching the front, but the action was going on between Lewis, Sebastian and Max, it was a phenomenal race. Max on the other hand told, it's not where we want to be, yesterday, you put yourself in a spot like that, and it can either work brilliantly, and you can drive back to the front, or it's very frustrating like we had. So, it's redemption time for the team and Max at the Suzuka circuit and for that, the team is making certain revisions to its floor package to gain downforce, and the team's reportedly going to play with its front and rear wings to improve its aerodynamic efficiency. The first sector of the Suzuka circuit is of high-speed corners, so to maximize the RB18's performance at this section, the team is improving the downforce levels of the car's underfloor to improving its cornering speed. 
The second and third sectors compromise of long straights with slight bends. So with the floor working to generate downforce, the team is going to adjust wing angles, particularly the rear wing, to reduce drag and aid the car to achieve a high top speed. This will aid in the Red Bull drivers to defend against a overtake, better than others on the two long straights available on the track. It is also on the reports as, the team is aiming to make revisions in the form of trims to its side pods, to improve the downwash the side pods generate. This will aid in the downforce generation ability of the RB18. All these revisions are brought for one, Max to win his second title, and second to seal the constructors title this year in the name of Red Bull. We have another chance to win the drivers championship, we have to have a perfect weekend, but it could be possible, we'll give it our all said Verstappen. Meanwhile, Christian Horner told, it'd be a phenomenal thing. We take nothing for granted. We go to Japan, attack the weekend and see what result comes out at the end of it. Nearing the end of this episode, I will like to remind you guys that these are revisions to a car's design, and those have the ability of influencing a car performance to a big level. So we hope that these revisions will act as big upgrades to those respective cars, and we hope to see an intense race on the coming Sunday, so keeping my fingers crossed. So, what do you guys think? Will these upgrades make any difference in the winning order at Suzuka, lets us know in the comments section below. Want to know how Max Verstappen is faster than Sergio Perez in the same Red Bull machine, then click on the video shown on your screen now. Thank you for watching this video, please subscribe, and while hoping to see an intense race on Sunday, I will catch you on the next episode.